lands a big right hand across the top. Adamek has landed some combinations. You know, Adamek is not doing anything to avoid the right hand. He's not rolling his shoulders. He's not stepping back. He's not even trying to shield it with his left arm. He's just like, I'm going to take this and just keep doing what I'm doing. Well, he sees the right hand coming, so he's been able to take it. That left hook that shocked him in the first round, he never saw coming. Once again, good, clean right hand by Briggs. Didn't phase Adamick at all. And Adamick came back with a five-punch combination. This has been the pattern throughout both of their fights. Adamick is showing... Another right hand for Briggs. What a good, aggressive boxer puncher can be as a crowd-pleasing fighter. Not a brawler, doesn't have to fight out of control. Just a beautiful combination throwing boxer puncher. He wins again here in a fight very similar to the one a year ago. He's the king of Chicago from a boxing standpoint. Because, of course, you can hear the enthusiasm of the many Polish-Americans in the audience here to root for him. Body shot by Briggs. Adamek trying to come up and under with the right. Adamek a little bit sparser with his punch output in this round. Perhaps not wanting to allow Briggs as many opportunities to land his right. Briggs has been successful in blocking more punches this round than he has in the past. He's not getting hit with the clean punches that he did in the previous rounds. And he rips Adamek with another right across the top. Now Adamek's nose trickling blood as the result of that last Briggs right hand shot. Another big right hand lands for Briggs. Adamek lands a right and a left in return. Adamek is returning punches, but he's not landing as clean of punches as Briggs is at the stage. And now Briggs throws his left and lands it on Adamek's nose, and Adamek sniffs, indicating that the blood in his nose is bothering. Now he blows out, which can often cause a fighter to swell. Well, the fight is on now. They're both bleeding. Three good jabs from Adamek. Briggs now starting to work much harder with his jab, having seen the damage he's done to Adamek's nose. Adamek across the top with a right hand. Another Briggs, Briggs right hand to punctuate the round. Good fight. So it's an outstanding sage setter for the main event in which seven foot plus Russian heavyweight titleist Nikolai Valuev will try to show what he can do against American Monty Barrett. He conquered Larry Donald on a close decision. He conquered John Ruiz on a close decision to take a title belt. Ruiz screamed bloody murder and said, I won the fight. Then he knocked out Owen What the Heck Beck, an opponent who was served up partially as the result of the fact that Don King, eager for an involvement near the top of the heavyweight division, has managed to get himself into the Baluev promotional picture, not as the primary promoter, but as a showman here in America that tried to pay off the curiosity about the man King calls the Jolly Red Giant. Baluev doesn't like that. In the fire. Fire. Power shots through round four. 48 out of 139 for Adamek, 40 out of 92 for Briggs. Averaging 75 punches around is Adamek, which is about 50% more than Briggs, who's averaging like 50 punches around. But it's a really good close fight in which both men have made their marks. Adamek's nose is broken and bleeding. Briggs is bleeding from a cut above the left eye. I don't know how the score went to last round, but I'm slightly moving towards Briggs as he's landing clean up punches at this stage right now with his right hand and with his jab. Not as flashy, but he's landing the clean punches. Well, Adamek fought the whole last fight with a broken nose and didn't get it broken until the fourth round of this one. So maybe now he's ready to open up. Jim, is that your uh, x-ray vision that tells you he has a broken nose? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, I, obviously, I'm no doctor, and maybe it's just a bloody nose, but if ever there was a nose that's a candidate to be broken in the ring, uh, that's one of them. Yeah, it precedes him almost as much as his jab. Yeah, and it, <laughs> it, uh, it turns left at Rahway and goes down to Jersey City and makes another right, you know? <laughs> These are two tough dudes. Well, I mean, talk about tough. Briggs, as a teenager, went to live in a Thai kickboxing camp where for months he slept on concrete. 
ate the most rudimentary of diets and lived with Thai fighters who come from the poorest of circumstances and are kickboxing to try to get money for their families. He said, now I know what tough really is. Yeah, and he's showing it tonight. After get, having a rough first two rounds, he's coming on good. He's landing the clean, effective punches. And as Dam as Dam if he doesn't get away from those right hands, he's going to have problems. I don't care how tough he is. He's getting hit with them too easy now. And with more regularity. And periodically, like every 10 or 15 seconds, you can hear from ringside as Adamick tries to clear his nose so he can breathe through it. What about the clearing of the nose and the fact that he's blowing out an annual could he swell? Blowing your nose like that a lot would make your ass swell a lot very badly. I don't think it would bother his nose. I don't think he has a choice. Riggs is getting some opportunities from the body now as Adamick occasionally backs off to try to limit the contact in the fight. The momentum of the fighters move toward Briggs now. Definitely. He's able to go ahead and flow the way he wants to fight. He's being the aggressor. Adamek seems somewhat caught between styles at this moment. Yes, he's trying to box and he's trying to fight. And now Briggs steps in and asserts himself with another booming right hand. And another, another booming right hand right on the jaw. Big round for Paul Briggs, and he knows it. Diego Prave, Mr. Scotty. Diego Prave. Okay, and you got to go downstairs. You're not going to the body none. If Bebekimu. Everything you're doing is to the head. Bebekimu. If you're Diego Prave. Paul Briggs' right hand has brought him back from some difficulties yeah, in round two and three. Point. He knocked down Thomas Adamek in the first round with an unexpected left hook. But this is Briggs' money weapon, Emmanuel. The right hand has been continuing to land in, and Adamek has not even found any defense. I, I don't think he's even tried to block it. He, in fact, it's almost like he doesn't want to get a miss one of the right hand. He wants to get hit with every one of them soon. Briggs throws it as a counter to Adamek's left. Sometimes he just leads with it. Occasionally he tries to set it up with the jab, but in any of the three formats, he's been successful landing that right he's hand. He's landing the right hand regu with regularity, and it's going to take his effect. Power shots in round five. Adamek, eight out of 30. Briggs, 20 out of 39. More than half his power shots in that round, and a whole boatload of right hands over the top. They've done a good job in Briggs' corner. Johnny Lewis and his cut man have done an excellent job of closing the cut above the left eye. Briggs, Blood continues to flow from Adamek's nose. But Briggs is not only landing, I think, the more effective punches, blocking better punches, but looks so much more physically strong at this stage, as well as mentally. You get the impression from time to time Adamek hasn't slipped or stopped a single right hand all night. Buddy McGirt asked Adamick for more body punching. And again, I think he's caught between styles, Emmanuel. At some point, he's just going to have to fight. I think you're absolutely right, Jim. That's exactly what I was saying. He's between trying to box, trying to fight. Nothing seems to be working that effectively right now for the most part. It was a brawl a year ago. Adamick expressed that he thought he could make it more of a boxing match. It evolves toward being a brawl again. Adamek has got a good rhythm going right now. We need to stick with the jab and start moving a little bit. Adamek landed the big right hand. Yeah, so Briggs right came there. back with the left hook. Yeah, whenever he wants to explode, he knows the guy's going to be right in front of him. Briggs has excellent attacking football. He gets there in a hurry. And those, those punches have negated all of the advantage that early in the round Adamek had. Very few relentlessly aggressive fighters like Briggs know how to defend themselves as they as they bore in to their opponents. And his punches are short and straight. They're not wide looping punches, which means very difficult for Adam Mech to have time to defend against. Well, and you talked about Johnny Lewis as a conditioning trainer, and Briggs' is conditioning certainly appears to be showing up. He's just as intense now as he was in round one and fighting at a higher level of energy. 